The Chromecast with Google TV is an awesome device for streaming movies. Wait, don't tell me that's all you're doing with it. In this video today, we are going to be covering 10 tips and tricks to get the most out of this device, so stay tuned. So when I get a new device, I like to know everything about it. I wanna know all of the details so I can get the most out of that device. And I'm assuming since you clicked on this video, you do too. Now I've condensed this video into the top 10 things you need to know to get the most out of this device. Now, before we get started, if you guys can give this video a thumbs up, it really helps this video out. So I greatly appreciate it. And with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's start out with an easy one, a little bit of a softball here, and that is to use your voice. With the Google Assistant built in, you can use your voice to search for content, control playback, and even ask the Google Assistant to perform tasks like checking the weather or setting a reminder. Other voice commands you can use are turn off the TV, rewind 10 seconds, show me my photos of Disneyland, or turn off the TV after five minutes. Number two, did you know that you could customize your home screen? Now you could do this by adding or rearranging apps on the dashboard. If you wanna add an app, obviously just search for it and install it. If you want to move an app, you can go ahead and push and hold on a remote, click on the move button, and from here, we can move the app in the order that we want it to be in. If we back out of this and go up to our settings at the very top, let's go over to our settings here. We're gonna to go to account and sign in, click on our profile name. And if we scroll all the way down towards the bottom, we've got the option for app only mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and let's go back to the home screen. And this is going to show us now just the apps instead of all the stuff that was below it. it makes a much cleaner setup for you to work with. So in addition to streaming all the services that you have, like Netflix, Disney Plus, maybe even HBO Go, you can actually watch live TV on this device too. Now you do need a subscription for that, but if you sign up for something like Hulu with live TV, Sling TV, or even YouTube TV, you can just simply download the apps and watch your live TV from those apps. So if you have been interested in completely cord cutting and getting rid of say cable TV altogether, this is going to be a good way to supplement that live TV in. Now, number four on the list, casting from your phone or even your laptop. Did you know you can cast from your laptop? Well, you can. You can cast from either device to your TV using Chromecast. Now, what you need to do is look for the cast icon on your app or on your browser if you're using the Chrome browser and tap on it. You're going to select the Chromecast device and then just start casting. This is a great way to stream content from your devices to your TV. Google Meet is another cool feature. It's kind of like FaceTime for iPhones. It allows you to have a video conversation so you get to use the camera on your phone but instead of just keeping it on your phone, you can actually cast that video phone call to the TV. So that way everyone in the room can enjoy that video chat. If you share your Google, Google, T Google TV with multiple people, you can set up personalized profiles. This way everyone gets their personalized home screen recommendations and watch lists. To set up a new profile, go to the settings, account and sign-ins and add an account. This way, when I go into my profile, it is not flooded with things that the kids have been watching and also vice versa. When the kids go into their profile, they are not seeing any of the adult true crime documentaries that I like to watch. Using your remote and the Chrome on-screen interface is pretty obvious, but are you using the Google TV app? Now download the Google TV app to your phone or tablet to be able to browse and search for content. Then you can easily cast it to your TV to watch. The app is also going to allow you to control your TV manage your subscriptions, and set up multiple profiles. Sometimes it's just easier to use the app than going through the menus with a remote. Have you tried playing any games through your Chromecast? Well, Google TV supports Android TV games, so you can use your remote or a game controller to play games like Asphalt 8 or Minecraft. Just download the games from the Google Play Store and start playing. Now, the last thing you can do is control your smart home through your Chromecast. Now that's either gonna be using your voice to control your different items around the house, or you can actually view your cameras from the Chromecast itself. So whether you use that voice assistant to turn the temperature up and down on your thermostat, or turning lights on and off, or maybe just bringing up your video doorbell to see if the pizza man is at the door, there are lots of cool smart home tech that you can integrate and use with your Chromecast. Okay, so what do you guys think of these tips and tricks? Did you learn anything new? If so, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you guys made it this far in the video, thank you so much. If you're into the Google ecosystem, I think you're really going to like this video over here talking about 
everything that you need to know with the Google Nest. So definitely go ahead and check that out. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video.